the Milimani Law Court, specifically the Anti-Corruption Court, where Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu is already seated, ready to plead to abuse of office and tax evasion charges. Remember yesterday she was arrested, she was questioned, she was arraigned, released on a 5 million Kenya shillings bond, and of course told to appear before the court today. She's before Chief Justice, uh, Chief, uh, I beg your pardon, Chief Magistrate Lawrence Mugambi, and uh, we, we will take you there as soon as uh, the proceedings begin. We have also been informed that a NASA co principal Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musioka is there together with, of course, uh, the legal team that will represent the Deputy Chief Justice. And joining me in studio to continue to look at some of the issues around this and to give us both the legal perspective and the political angle. Because let's be honest, uh, this, this particular matter, we're seeing a lot of politics creeping into it, and that could be quite dangerous. Is Dunstan Omari, an advocate of the High Court? Welcome once again, although we, we've chatted uh, <laughs> just before the break. So let's. So you. So you're going to wear two hats for this discussion. There's yes. your legal hat. Yes. Yes. And, and the political. Aspect. And then the political aspect as well. Let's talk about the dangers of the political aspect creeping into this particular matter. And it already has. You should see the SMSs I'm getting. People are talking about the politics of this matter more than the legality around it. Uh, the the deputy chief justice is not an ordinary lady. She faced serious challenges at the time of the presidential election. She was identified strictly politically, not legally, to be a NASA follower and sympathizer. Her hard hitting allegations, were allegations uh -huh. her hard hitting statements during the trial were perceived to be loyal to NASA. Now, when she has been charged, you've seen Kalonzo, you've seen the combination rallying behind their daughter. Compare the rallying of uh, people around her as the rallying of the Kamba nation to the cabinet secretary for foreign affairs. She held a homecoming party, nobody attended. Mm -hmm. Today we are going to We've see... We've also seen the likes of Dr. Evans Kidero. Yes. Being arraigned in court. Nobody attended. Nobody attended. So the, the question now that is going to happen is that if Mwilu was shot at, her driver was shot at, mm -hmm. Mwilu survived. Mwilu is the first one to take a plea. She is taking a plea on behalf of who? The architect of the handshake, Raila Odinga. So what people do, are going to mean, demand. What do, mean, what do you mean by people, that? People, the public, the political angle will demand that Raila Odinga must stand firm with the Mwilu. Kalonzo has come. That's a strong signal. Although we don't know what he... So he, he hasn't spoken. He has not spoken. The so fact he, he that he's there... An observer. Are we likely to see the governors like uh, Charity Ngilu mobilize the Kamba nation to come and demonstrate? Give support to their daughter. Mm -hmm. So this, to me, marks the end of the fight on corruption. It has taken a political arm. A fight that the began DPP four months ago, you were saying... The DPP was not strategic. The DPP was not strategic. Had they consulted, they acted legally. Legally, everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. You've seen in his, in his statement, mm -hmm. he's trying to fight or read a perception mm -hmm. that he is acting independently. He is already aware that people are seeing the selectivity of the prosecution. Mm. And once it has taken that political terrain, two, I have been part of uh, the defense team of quite a number from NYS1, all these matters. Quite a number, when the first governor was arrested, let me tell you, when the first governor for Busia was arrested, Jamong. all the members of parliament and the senators said, let the governors be arrested. When the tide changed and now members of parliament are being arrested for CDF, there is quietness. Mm. The Orengos who are saying let the people be arrested, Orengo is the one now defending uh, the deputy DCJ. So the question is people are saying after chako so that notion is likely now going to tilt and the issues that are going to come I've heard the political class are saying look, suppose let me be an advocate, uh, devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. The removal of the DPP. You're already an advocate, so now you want to be no, an advocate. No, I'm not the devil's <laughs> advocate, not the real advocate. Okay. The removal of the DPP, who he has a constitutional office, is anchored in Article 168. DCJ, sorry, DCJ. The DPP. I'm talking of the DPP. The removal of the DPP, of the DPP okay. will be provided for under Article 168. A, a petition filed, a, a, the parliament receives it, decides it, and the DPP has a job. The same provision deals with the DCJ. Mm -hmm. So I'm likely to see the political class gang up to remove the DPP from office. 
by a simple majority parliamentary vote because of, and because, because of the actions we've seen over the last 20 years. wenzako wameona wenzao wakinyolewa. Okay. All the political but, class is paranoid. The political class is paranoid. They are seeing one after one being arrested. Mm -hmm. One after one being arrested. Pia Lolumumba trained his guns on the political class. Mm -hmm. What did they do? They amended the law. They removed the, they removed the office at midnight. That is the political angle to this matter. That the political class worldwide has never lost a battle. The political class, they might lose, small they wars, but might not lose the wars, but they never lose the battle. This now is the defining moment. So, unless the DPP navigates in a manner that appeases the political class, mm -hmm. he was vetted by the same political class. Mm -hmm. they did, suppose a, a, a somebody, a pedestrian, moves to parliament with a fictitious petition. Mm -hmm. And like the JSC that initiates movements to remove the judges, the DPP is vulnerable. Is that a petition goes to parliament? Is parliament speaking with one voice? There was the time parliament was speaking in two tongues, two Jubilee tongues. and NASA. Yes, yes. Now they joined in the handshake. United. A new tower, a new tower of Babel has been broken by the DCJ. Mm -hmm. So there is going to have a common purpose that look, you guys. We better remove this DPP or else all of us are going to commit. Okay.